So it was that vulnerability to fail, the vulnerability to change my mind because of other people. But it, it essentially came down to that congruence. This was what was important to me and I kept on driving. How did you channel that inner, I don't know, fight in yourself to go come back? And I'm just writing down a couple of notes that I want to talk to. So the first one was congruence. I was driven. My, my first drive after being shot was just to get back to my children, just to be able to interact with them. The doctors told me, straight up, they told me, I will probably never walk properly again because I've only got, you know, one of the bullets hit my Achilles tendon on the right ankle, took out 80% of the thickness of my Achilles tendon. Um, so they said, that Achilles is never going to be strong enough to be able to last again. And you won't be able to walk properly. You'll probably trip over your own feet. And so my first driver was just to get back to my children and interact with them. My original plan, absolute perfection. If I can get back to star group, sensational. So that was always in my mind that that's where I'd like to go. But there was this acceptance. The doctors were telling me I probably won't make it. But once I started working through things and started getting a little bit fitter and able to do the running, hopping, skipping, jumping with my children, I started then looking further and going, actually, maybe I can get back to walking greater distances. Maybe I can get back to running. Maybe I can get back to the police. Maybe I can get back to Star Group. And it was just incremental growth the whole way through. But it was that absolute congruence of this is important to me. I wasn't doing it to try and prove it to anybody else. It was, this was a passion for me. I wanted to get there. There was also the vulnerability that if I have a crack at this, I may not make it. I may fail. And the vulnerability to go, well, I'm going to have a crack anyway. And the other one was the passion. It was just that absolute passion. It was, and, and meaning, it was passion and meaning. It's what was important to me. I needed to balance all that with this is my passion, but how are my choices, my actions, possible consequences going to impact on my family? What's that future going to look like? And so if my family hadn't been able to manage me going back, it was going to negatively impact on them. I had to be vulnerable enough to go, do you know something? I'm going to make the choice to step away. So it was that vulnerability to fail, the vulnerability to change my mind because of other people. But it, it essentially came down to that congruence. This was what was important to me and I kept on driving. I say all the time, I think fulfillment is the highest purpose of your life, your life on your terms. And it is the alignment, the conscious intention to say, here's the impact that I want to go make. Here are the values that I'm going to go live my life by. And here are the actions that I take. And when you put that in alignment, there is just your chest puffs out and you feel like this is what I am made to do and what I should be doing.